Good morning, Liz. Good morning. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? Good. Perfect temperature, wasn't it? Yeah. Go away so I can still sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what you got cooking for us this morning, Steven? Well, we've got a pound of bacon already cooked over here. Oh, oh that's yeah. That's right there. Yeah. We've got hash browns going. Pancakes will be going next. Cody next door over here is doing sausage and eggs. We're gonna have a full buffet for breakfast. Gotta eat Sounds good. good. Gotta yeah. eat good. We got what, 110 miles left on this trail this morning? Yep, first 50 was very interesting. First yep. 30 was really rough. Started to think we weren't gonna get, make, it, make it to somewhere to camp last night, but uh, we finally made it. All right, we're looking forward to it. Hey guys, Jason Harris, Mozart Mount Adventures. It's day two on the Rim Rocker Trail. We got camp all packed up and we're um, fixing to head out. We got another 110 miles uh, left on this trail today. And um, looking forward to seeing what's um, up ahead. Uh, the Utah side, it was beginning out to be a pretty rough road. It wasn't as far as obstacles, but just as far as the road surface was very rough. And then we ran quite a bit of just good smooth gravel road. Uh, to um, Buckeye Reservoir here uh, on the edge of um, Colorado. So let's get loaded up and we'll see what we got ahead of us. Good morning, Cody. Well, we made a um, wrong turn on the rim rocker here, so we're getting regrouped. You can see here on the on the map, we made a turn wrong, we ended up up like here. So we're gonna get back on the track. Well, guys, it was worth turning back around instead of looping around that other forest road back into the rim rocker because we are actually right on the rim right now. Uh, very nice, very nice views. We have found a fire ant hill. That, um, uh, well, I think that's enough shenanigans. So let's get back on the track. So this is going to be a pretty good show here. All right, it's rolling. Okay, this we got we got a lot of arm watchers.
being from Missouri and Arkansas and not being ever around uranium, we were really shocked and intrigued by all the uranium mines and stuff that was in this area. We were now out of the mountains and across long plains with mountains surrounding us. The track had gotten a lot smoother, a lot sandier, but we was able to run a lot more speed than what we had previously ran, so that was a welcome thing for each one of us. But now seeing a glimpse of the San Juan Mountains in the far distance gave us the anticipation and the longing desire to reach them to see what kind of adventure we would find there the next day. For the biggest part of the trip on the Rim Rocker, we could see the distant smoke from the forest fires that were happening over close to Nucla. We now are real close and we actually got to see a helicopter fly by that was fighting the fires. On the last leg of the Rim Rocker, we got to see a lot of greenery, which was very welcoming to all of us from Missouri and Arkansas. We, for several days, hadn't seen it, and we were, to be honest with you, we didn't realize how much we was missing it, and to see it made us feel very comfortable. last about 14 miles of the Rim Rocker Trail and um, man I tell you what this road is absolutely dusty they we've we've went through sections where there was, there was fires uh, here before Nucla and um, they just they haven't had any rain they haven't had much snow this year and it's so dusty and but uh, on top of that we're behind a log truck so it, it got actually to the point where we couldn't already even see uh, Rigs, Traveling is what Sandy absolutely uh, lives for. But it's still just really, really bad. It's worse than I've ever seen. If you run off the road, I guess I'm going out by you because I'm following your tail lights. That's all I can see. Well, it's been a long day.
Well, we just finished, um, I'm dehydrated. What, what did we just finish? Rim Rocker Trail. <laughs> we just finished the Rim Rocker Trail. Uh, we've been running for the last four days. We started out in Moab, Utah. We ran um, uh, Hurrah Pass. We ran uh, Lockhart Basin, Lockhart Canyon. We ran the entire Rim Rocker Trail. Uh, so 350 miles of dirt here in the last four days. And let's look how dusty, nasty our rigs are. We've had everything from red dust. We was covered in red dust when we left Moab. And now over the rim rocker, we have gathered all kinds of different colors of dust. But these things are nasty. It's, um, you get taken in your tent. Stay tuned guys, there's a lot more to come. Over you. Let's Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I keep I keep my engine bay clean. Look how nasty that is. So we're gonna go find us a place to give these rigs a bath here in Montrose. And we'll head out from there. This was an absolute blast of a, of a trip so far.